types in DPEX software program. In this video we will present how to modify the wall properties in DPEX. The wall properties and the wall section properties can be managed through user-friendly dialogues. If you double click on the wall in the model area, the edit wall data dialog appears. In this dialog we can modify the top elevation of the wall, the depth, the X wall coordinate, as well as choose to edit the wall section. If we press this button, the edit wall properties dialog appears. Here we can choose to add as many wall sections as we wish in the same model. Here in the middle we can choose the wall type. In DPEX we can have soldier pile and lagging walls, seat pile walls, secant piles, tangent piles, diaphragms, SPTC walls, and combined seat pile walls. According to our selection here, here on the right we can modify different parameters. If we decide to use a wall type supported by I-beams, here on the right we can select the I-beam section. In DPEX we include extensive database with all commonly used beam sections worldwide. Next we have to define the horizontal spacing between the beams, the passive, active and water width that will be taken into consideration in the calculations and the steel beam material. In the tab lagging we can define the lagging. Here we can define the lagging thickness, the lagging material and we can choose among timber lagging, concrete lagging and steel plate lagging. In addition here we can define the lagging position. We can uh, select the position on the left side of the piles, on the right or in the middle. Finally, in the tab steel beams, we can once again modify the steel beam section and here we can review the steel beam properties according to our selection. If we select a wall type supported by reinforced concrete bars, like a diaphragm wall. In the tab that appears here we can define the wall width, the wall length that will be taken into consideration during the calculations, the number of rebars on the left and on the right side of the wall and the rebar size. We can see here in this drop down that all the wall sections we created exist on this list. This means that we can go back easily and check different options. In DPEX we can have up to two walls in the same model. By pressing this button in the general tab of DPEX we can add the second wall to our model and here select the wall section according to the previously created wall sections. If we double click once again we can modify the wall coordinates. We can define the X wall coordinate so we can put the walls closer and the wall depth. Visit our website in order to find more information about our software programs or feel free to contact us in order to learn about our special offers or to order a free online presentation.